So believe it or not, what you're seeing right now is being recorded on the iPhone 13 Pro using ProRes. So in this video, I just wanted to show you kind of my excitement of how good this looks with a few caveats because it's not a perfect situation for filming, but it looks damn good. So let's get into it. How's it going, y'all? It is Ben Aqua, and this is going to be a quick video just showing you what ProRes looks like when you're doing a talking head kind of video. What is ProRes? It's a really high resolution Apple codec for video and the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max enable this. So I'm recording this using iPhone 13 Pro in Filmic Pro and I have a Deity wireless, I think it's the pocket wireless right here. And I am using the normal wide lens, which has the widest aperture, lets the most amount of light in. I'm using my WeLight Ninja 200 light over here, which is a really nice soft light. So I think this actually rivals the quality of a DSLR, except I'm not gonna get as much blur in the background. I mean, I can get even closer to the camera and get even more blur in the background. And what's another cool thing is I'm looking down at my monitor which is an iPad Pro 2018. So I'm able to actually monitor what the camera is seeing in real time using the Filmic Remote app on my iPad Pro because of course the wide lens on the iPhone 13 Pro is on the rear of the camera. So I can't see what I'm doing, but having this iPad right here as my monitoring situation works really well. And what do you think about the video quality? Because I think this looks absolutely insane. The thing about ProRes files though, is that they are absolutely huge. They're huge files. So you do have to airdrop them to your computer. Like even a 20 second clip was almost two gigabytes. So it's like 10 seconds equals one gigabyte. So you need a lot of storage. You need to upgrade your iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max just to get this feature enabled on your phone. But the visuals, as you can see, look absolutely insane. Super high quality, really crisp. I'm noticing less noise in the shadows and stuff like that. So the file size is going to be a huge issue, which is not why I would recommend this for most people. But if you're shooting like a feature film or something on your iPhone, you might want to try out ProRes because you can get insane quality using this codec on your iPhone 13 Pro. I think this looks absolutely bananas. So anyway, this is just a quick clip kind of demonstrating ProRes for iPhone 13 Pro as a talking head kind of setup. I think this quality looks fantastic, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also what do you think about the audio quality from this DD Pocket Wireless? I'll link to all the stuff that I'm talking about, all the products down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. Smash the like button, subscribe down below, add me on social media at B3NAQUA. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.